Hey guys, this is V2 Vengeance and today we'll be looking at a game I had in my E50M I think a couple of weeks ago I didn't really have any mods when I played this game so well, I don't know how much this is going to influence but I dodged a couple of artillery shells at some time and yeah, I have that mod that says in how much time the artillery will reload so it might look as I'm I'm using that mod too much but actually in this battle I played this battle before I had the mod so it's just pure s <laughs> skill in brackets more like I was luckier than normal but here we go so I'm taking this side of the map with this object 140 DSU 101 the AS3 and the AT15 and I noticed that there, there are a lot of enemy medium tanks on the other side of the the mountain and none of them is pushing so I'm deciding to push forward and take a better position now the E50M I think it's a beast of a tank this is the German tier 10 medium tank it has very good armor for a medium tank and also has a really really good gun it has very good penetration and I don't know how I missed that shot, probably I started backing away in the same time I was firing. It has amazing penetration, amazing accuracy. The only downside of the gun is its rate of fire. It has, I think, the lowest rate of fire of all the tier 10 medium tanks. It has the lowest damage per minute, but still it makes up for with its accuracy and its armor. Also, it's v really, really fast, given the fact that it has so much armor. So there is an enemy 50 he manages to penetrate me in the turret I think yep and it's going to be quite a stalemate on this corner so I'm going to put this on 4 times the speed as you're going to see here so I put one shot into him He's trying to, he was trying to size scrape here it's, it's actually going to, I think about 2 or 3 minutes it's, it's just us fighting in on this corner and until we finally manage to break them down, those enemies here. And I don't know, that, that was a replay bug, I didn't fire through the mountain. And now I can put it back to one time speed, so 2097 damage so far. And the enemies are really pushing into our base, so we need to, to make, we need to make quick come back here we have to finish off this t54 mod 1 and as I'm going to I put one shot into him just before he manages to drown himself now I I didn't know how many artillery is fired right now so I was a little bit cautious here so I'm I'm hiding behind this mountain here as you can see the mod tells me they are both reloading but I didn't knew that at the time so, as you can see, I, I'm going to get out exactly when they are going to be reloaded. I didn't know they were reloading, so I was hiding here, I didn't know that. So, exactly when I managed to come out, and boom. Wow, that, that was a funny animation. It was really scary at the moment, because I was hiding that much, and I, I was sure they would try to fire at me when I would be coming out, and this is what happened. What I didn't know is that I could have come out earlier because they were reloading. And now I'm going back to the base. And let's see, so we have an M103 that's probably capping right now, there he is in the base. There is also a T124, T57 Heavy, I don't really have time to go and kill that T57 Heavy. I have to go back to the base and try to defend the cap so I'm I'm switching to heat ammunition here because I, I want to make sure I would penetrate those guys and make sure I would decap efficiently because I can't afford a bounce right now in the best case I would have to shoot HE but I also knew I had to kill those guys so there is the E103 and it bounces because I fire a little bit too late and it hits the outer part of his turret so now it's 2 versus 5 and there they are so I know I can't afford to take this shot because I wouldn't reload in time in case I miss so there we go 94, 95, 98, 100 and wow just on the 
in the last second I managed to decap it and also as you can see artillery they are firing at me they both missed because they thought I would be coming out after them instead of just keeping the reach here and now it's me versus this t 24 I put another shot into him now the bad part is he is not a one shot for me however my allied 80-15 as you as you, as you saw there, he takes a shot from the T124 and manages to also penetrate him, meaning that I, I am able to finish him in one shot. Now, I, again, I'm really cautious about the artillery here, and I also congratulate my this 8015, this Allied 8015, because if it wasn't for him being aggressive, probably what would have happened here was that I would be sitting around waiting for the T4 to make a move and the T57 Heavy would come behind me and it would be game over. So now I'm going after the T57 Heavy, I know that he is on really really low health and I'm thinking where I would, I think, I'm trying to think what he would do right now, I thought he would be flanking around and uh, just as I think about switching to hit again to be sure I would kill him, he spots me and very very lucky shot there now I have to dodge the artillery again I make like I make it look like I'm going to the left but in the last second I turn around <laughs> and I nearly dodged the artillery so I'm on five kills right now 4,000 damage and then I was I knew that the other artillery would be probably reloaded so I was cautious again and it's me against the artillery and also this AT-15 that as you can see he's a really slow tank so I can't really count on him <laughs> at first. So I'm, I'm guessing as you can see the artillery was last spotted around there so I'm trying to make it up to that location. I'm very s I was worried that they would try to ambush me from somewhere around here. Also I don't have 6 cents. Well I didn't have at the time of the replay I think 6 cents on the E-50M still the crew is retraining from the E50 so I didn't know if I was spotted here or not so I, I was trying to play in the most cautious way possible I knew that those guys would rarely one shot me but still you can't take risks so at first I thought they were in the bushes up front but I see that there is no movement so and I also thought I would have spotted them because those artilleries are really big and have bad camo so I'm moving up and I'm thinking they are probably in this ridge here. At first it looks like there isn't anything. So I'm coming closer and wow. He just misses me. And now I managed to put one shot into the first FV-303805. I almost said 304. And... I have to be really cautious here because, as I said, one shot from those guys can really cripple me and if it's them against the AT-15, the AT-15 is too slow to make a move. I managed to finish off one of them and now the last one, boom, game over, 7 kills and a, a pretty good result. <laughs> it was a really nice game and it was one of my first games with the 50, the first battles that I had with the 50M. I had some amazing stats on the tank and until I got into a lose streak. I had I think I had somewhere like nine or eight, eight battles and I lost only one of it. And I think I had a destruction ratio of twenty nine, I think, until I got into the lose streak. Destruction ratio meaning from the time I got my tank, how many vehicle enemy vehicles I destroyed with it and how many times I died with it. So basically I died once in the game that I lost and I destroyed 29 tanks, so I had <laughs> an, um, some amazing stats, I think about 1500 average experience on it. But as soon as I got into some bad matches and I made some mistakes and all that, it went down. I don't know if it's still my best tank as far as average experience per battle goes, but it's clearly on top 3 at least. So let's take a look at some post game stats. So I managed to pick 66,000 credits, 3,450 experience, mastery badge first class again, it's not really like the 50 is a really good tank and to get an ace tanker you need a better game than this one, but it was a really cool game because I managed to and I 
thought I would show it because I managed to defend the base really really clutch and also pick it up a nice top gun so let's see the team scores 4600 damage and about twice as much not really twice as much but more than 50% more than the second best player also the enemy T124 that I managed to kill it when he was capping had a pretty good game and also special thanks to the 8015 in my team that helped me a lot during the defense so detailed report 21 shots fired 19 hit 16 penetrated and 1500 damage blocked by armor and so yeah this shows how how good the 50m is it's armor and also the gun in clutch situations like this so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please think about rating it and it helps me a lot and have an absolutely awesome day, I'll see you later.